I'm the military assistant to the commander of the Allied Rapid Reaction Corps, and I'm assisting him in the delivery of Project Artemis. The Allied Rapid Reaction Corps is the British Army's contribution to the NATO force structure in the land environment. We're here at JOTC Bidgosh in Poland for exercise Steadfast Leader, which is the NATO LANCOM's principal exercise for the Warfighting Corps. At its heart, Project Artemis is really just an examination in how we as a Corps can become better warfighters. But what we're really looking at is the issue of tempo and the principle of seizing the initiative in warfare. Historically, Battlefield Advantage focused on hardware and platforms. Today, the advantage goes to those who can integrate them into a system of systems, making use and sense of large sets of data and leveraging battle-winning software. Our land forces must be ready to understand, sense, and if necessary, swiftly defeat any threat. Current methods for planning and targeting are good, but we need to get better and faster. The way we target today takes tens of minutes to hours, and we need to get it down to seconds while retaining appropriate precision and humans in the loop. The foundation of our offering is Lattice, an AI-powered platform that uses computer vision, machine learning, and mesh networking to fuse real-time data from Anduril or third-party systems and networks. Lattice is an open architecture operating system for end-to-end -end kill chains. Lattice delivered an extensible, multi-domain integrated operating system with modular services to ingest real-time data feeds and command NATO platforms across air and ground domains. Its evaluation and tasking application optimally paired sensors to shooters for deterrence, de-escalation, and defeat mission objectives. With humans on the loop, Lattice autonomously tasked simulated government and commercial assets in real time for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance refinement to enable joint fires prosecution of targets. There was multi-user collaboration across distributed environments for the core echelon. I'm the coordinator of options development for the prosecution of targets in the ARC Forward CP. Currently within the command post, we utilize more than 20 people to go through this process. We can drastically reduce not just the time required to come up with solutions to prosecute targets, but as well as the personnel required. Being able to utilize this system will hugely impact our efficiency on the battlefield to prosecute targets in a timely manner with the minimum of delay and with a minimum of possibility for human error. We're already getting some really positive results from the experimentation. We've seen an 80% efficiency in the application of our staff power against existing processes, and we've seen up to 30 minutes dividend in time against a targeting serial. Aggregate that over time, and you can see exponential improvements. The question now is how we're going to use the dividend in people and in time to improve our ability to seize the initiative.